that's it guys that's all i'm getting out of this these big old amps over here is 1300 watts and peter's rise is killing me If you are someone in the market for an all-in-one multimedia tool specifically designed for car audio, then the AMM1 may just be the tool for you. This tool has about 12 different features, but of those 12 features, I'm only going to be using two of them today. The two features that we're going to be utilizing from this tool today is going to be one, it's real world power rating and it is what it sounds like. It measure exactly what every beat looks like in terms of impedance and power output in watts and we're also going to be utilizing secondly is dyno feature the dyno feature gives you the max power rating in wattage and it also implicates what impedance measurement it got at that wattage the reason why impedance measurements are so very very important is because when you actually purchase an amplifier and you see the ratings that are on them um, those ratings are actually laboratory ratings, meaning that if they tell you that this amplifier is rated at a certain wattage at a certain ohm load, that ohm load is a is a constant ohm load. However, inside your vehicle, there is no such thing as a constant ohm load unless you're doing a burp application or you're doing a test tone application. Do not confuse those test tone measurements on the box that the amp came with with real world measurements you probably will not be getting that that wattage rating um when you're playing real world music because real world music fluctuates in impedance so that is why it is it is very very important to measure your system's uh impedance rise or box rise that some would say because you will see what the system is actually performing at with your daily listening if you are enjoying this video and would like to learn a little bit more about how to simplify car audio please consider clicking that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing all right guys here i am in the back of the impala as you guys can see I'm trying to set it up where I can do some filming for you guys and get this system checked out. These are the Audio Pipe uh, APMN 2000s. These are 2000 watt amplifiers. They are strapped, as you guys can see. That's the main amplifier right here, and that's the helper. They are strapped right now, and they are supplying wattage to these two these are scar audio vfx 12s in a scar audio enclosure okay i probed both those wires from my subwoofer there's one there and of course the other one's over there that's my negative lead so right now what we're going to do is unlock this thing so we can get the test tone going once again we're going to hit play, and we're going to watch this graph. Any, anything over 25 volts that gives you that alert, don't, don't worry about that alert. Okay, so let's back this out a little bit so we can look at it. All right, and there we go. A lot of people have complained about the Lumi, the Lumi because it doesn't give you the cleanest looking waves. The waves that do something weird. And we know we're getting clean all the way around. So that's kind of what you want to keep going right here. Okay, so we're going to... Right now we're sitting at about 30 volts. Try not to shake so much while I adjust the game. 36... 38, 40, okay, that's way clip, you don't want that, let's bag it up, alright, so that's 
97 volts. That's looking pretty good. 114 volts is looking pretty good. Oh, that's clip. Let's bag it up a little bit. Bag it up. There we go, about a hundred, like about a hundred volts or so. It looks like it's, I can deal with that. I can deal with that. So about a hundred volts or so, looks like it's doing what it's supposed to. If you guys want to know what the gains look like, the gains are about, I'd say about three quarters of the way. It's about three quarters of the way right now. And that looks pretty clean to me. It looks it looks okay. It's kind of it, it's a bit questionable to be honest, but it, it looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna leave it like that. Uh, sorry about it being dark and grainy. It is so hot right now, man. Outside, it is the heat index is about 110, and um, I just can't get outside to do any type of comfortable work. So I said, you know what? I'm just gonna get in the car. I'm gonna let the AC run and see how much I can stay cramped uh, in this environment just to bring you guys some footage these are the audio pipe so many of you guys suggested that i go and spend 500 dollars on this thing so i actually went out and spent my own money on this they didn't send me this for free so this ain't no promo for it for anyone this is something that i spent my own money on to bring you guys more value for you guys who are not familiar with smd this is steve mead designs uh this is a company I buy a local YouTuber called, um, I should say a fellow YouTuber named Steve Mead. The guy have been in the game for a long time. He has very, very trustworthy uh, products that he has created. He uh, partnered with a uh, company called uh, Demore Engineering. And this is their baby, basically. And this is the AM1, AMM1 Audio Multimedia. And I'm going to tell y'all, this thing... For all you who don't know, I'm talking to the guys who don't know, because I know a lot of y'all already know about this thing. It does a whole lot, man. And one of the things on here that it can do is detect clipping. Okay, I know that's the whole point of setting your games. You're supposed to be able to see that with a multimeter, is, I mean, with an oscilloscope as well, which is why I bought this $70 tool. This is $70 versus right at, right at $500 after taxes for this thing right here. So you're talking about $480, $490. You can get this thing here, but it does a whole lot more than just detect clipping. This is a, this is an all-in-one tool, man, for uh, audio to be honest, for car audio. To be honest with you, it does clipping. It does dynos for you. It uh, gives you real-world power. It, it gives you amp ratings. It gives you voltage. It gives you a lot of stuff, man. It gives you impedance rise on your box. I mean, uh, within your system, it, it lets you know exactly what your subs are doing in the environment that you have them in. Now, the main functionality that I'm trying to get out of this thing right now is real world power monitoring. I want to know what is my real world wattage from live play. And I also want to know what my impedance rises is, is while the system is playing in order to make that work. You have to do two things. One I've already done. I took my positive lead to my subwoofer enclosure and I put it through this hole that's there in, in this tool. This is your amp meter. It measures ampers and or current flow. <clears throat> and what I'm going to be doing up here uh, is the second thing that needs to happen, which is you need to collect. You need to connect these lead to your voltage source. My voltage source is back in the rear there, and I'm not going to connect that part until I'm actually in location. Slaves positive becomes negative.
All right, guys, I'm back in the uh, back of the Impala, and we're going to try to run an impedance uh, test once more. Please excuse that noise, guys. That is the rain tapping on me right now. And um, I'm in the rain out here trying to get this to y'all, man. <laughs> so, uh, okay, we're on real-time power. And we know that 40 hertz was really, really bad for our test. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna drop it all the way down to 30 hertz. And we're gonna try to see what this thing is gonna give us. I'm gonna go ahead and max this guy out. But I'm not gonna max it out yet. I'm just gonna gradually adjust it. Right now it's sitting at two ohms, which is what this thing is tuned to, wired to two ohms. But we're gonna play a 30 hertz test tone. My door speakers do not like 30 hertz. So we're gonna get this going. There you go. Only 600 watts, guys. Let's see if this volume is all the way up. Impedance rise is a monster. It's a system killer. So let's put it on dyno. Impedance rise is real, y'all. And we know we clipped past that on 40, so I'm not even gonna mess with it no more. This is real world power for a system this damn big. That's all the wattage that you're getting out of it. So let's go to um, the dyno power. This is the dyno mode. I'm gonna do the same thing. The most it got was six. 612 watts at 7.2 ohms. Impedance rise is a beast. I can try increasing it. My door speakers do not like that. Let's see what it's gonna do. All right, it didn't clip. Let's try it again. I got it all the way up. No better. All right, so there you go, guys. We're gonna put it on 32 hertz. All right, that's at 32 hertz. We're gonna see if we can get a little bit more out of it. At 32 hertz. So adjust the volume. Let's see what we got. That's it guys, that's all I'm getting, 1300 watts, <laughs> oh man, that's it guys, that's all I'm getting out of this, these big old amps over here is 1300 watts, and Peter's rise is killing me, but hey, that's the, that's the real world of, our, of car audio, that's why you see some guys with such big amps, so many of them, so many batteries. And they say they clamping it like what? 15,000 watts or whatever, depending on how big that system look. And you're like, man, it should do way more than that. Yeah, if you clip it. <laughs> Clean power, that's what I'm getting. Out of these audio pipes. Yep. But anyway, as you guys can see, it didn't even clip. So I didn't even reach clipping at 32 hertz at all. I probably can get a little bit more out of it. I'm gonna adjust the gains a little bit. What the hell? Let's do it. Turn the gain up just a little bit. Nothing crazy. I gave it about an eighth of a turn. Let's see what it's gonna do now. Hope I don't blow up something. So let's hit play. Let's adjust it a little bit more. Again. And let's go until it clip. Yeah. There you go. I had confidence in my gain settings and that's why. Because it clipped and didn't give you no more. I think it got a little bit more impedance rise, that's about it. So that's what I'm dealing with folks at 32 hertz. That's it. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next one, man.
Thanks for visiting the channel to help you simplify car audio. It's the Budget Bass here, and I'm out.